you've been asking to see all three camera systems on the Mavic 4 Pro, and that's what this video is all about. So the main camera system is the Hasselblad 4 over 3 inch CMOS sensor. So it is a micro four thirds camera system, very similar to a lot of mirrorless camera systems out there. So it is high quality and it can now capture 6K 60 frames per second HDR. So huge leap forward when we compare it to the 5.1K on the Mavic 3 Pro. We've now got 6K 60 frames per second in HDR huge leap forward and it looks beautiful. We also can capture up 100 megapixel stills from the Mavic 4 Pro. The main Hasselblad system can also capture 4K up to 120 frames per second in slow motion. There is adjustable aperture as well, which is great to see from that main camera system. Looking at the medium teller system, this is a camera system we've seen on a few other drones recently from DJI. It is a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor and it can capture 48 megapixel stills, which we've seen across the board from the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3S. Now it can capture 4K 60 frames per second HDR and you also get the option to capture 4K 120 frames per second slow motion. So same slow motion option here with the Hasselblad and that medium teller system. And I'm really loving that one over 1.3 inch sensor. It is a solid sensor we've seen now for a while from DJI and it's just a reliable consistent sensor across the board. If we look at that tele camera system, that's where you get huge zoom and it is a one over 1.5 inch CMOS sensor can capture 50 megapixel stills and it also has the option to capture 4k 60 frames per second HDR just like the medium telephoto system but when it comes to slow motion you're only getting 4k up to 100 frames per second you can't go 120 you can go up to 100 frames per second though in slow motion and I would say all three cameras have a beautiful color science to them you can use the footage from each camera and it works beautifully. Obviously the main camera system is the better sensor. It is the main sensor. 6K footage is gonna look a lot crispier than the others. Using the high-end codec is obviously gonna make a big difference. And the fact that it's a larger camera system with adjustable aperture, that main Hasselblad is the king. It's, it's the huge upgrade here, but the fact that all three cameras work well together is great to see.